They say they're taking a stand to protect their way of life. Fishermen from the town of Mulithu in eastern Sri Lanka sail to the northern tip of the island. They're demanding the government stops what they say is illegal fishing by Indians and the use of banned fishing methods in Sri Lankan territorial waters. Joined by boats along the way, the flotilla had a key message, save our fish. The Indian trawlers can be easily seen and they come very close to the coast. They're not being punished at all. As seen in this footage shot by Al Jazeera a few years ago, the trawlers have big wooden planks which are used to scrape the ocean flow while a large net scoops up everything in their wake. The fishermen are angry and frustrated. They say the Indian boats are not only fishing illegally, but also damaging the marine environment and future fish stocks, as well as their livelihood. Their main demand that the government implement the law to stop this. There are two laws that the fishermen are demanding must be implemented. One that bans bottom trawling, and another that regulates foreign vessels whose crews must obtain a license to fish in Sri Lankan waters. Sources told Al Jazeera that the pandemic has led to an increase in illegal fishing as the Navy and Coast Guard avoided contact with Indian fishermen in case they were infected. They say up to 500 boats sometimes enter Sri Lankan waters in a day. India maintains that the fishermen issue must be resolved under existing bilateral mechanisms in a humanitarian manner. A Tamil member of parliament who helped introduce the legislation joined the protest. Presently our fishermen are at their wit's end. They are unable to go out to the sea, they are unable to cast their net. When they cast their net in the morning it's all destroyed. It's cut away by these trawlers that put the bottom trolley equipment down to the seabed. And it, this protest is to draw attention of the world to this, that the law is not being enforced. Researchers say, with Indians seemingly getting away with bottom trolling, the number of local boats taking up the method has increased. Community leaders say the only way to resolve the problem is for Sri Lankan authorities to enforce the laws. And if they don't, the livelihood of thousands of local families are at stake. Benel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.